Yo, what is going on guys? Today I'm bringing you guys a Madden 16 Draft Champions gameplay and this is with the squad that Siri picked for us in my video I uploaded yesterday. So if you guys missed that video, be sure to go check that out. But basically we are doing ranked Draft Champions. So if we want to get a championship, we have to win six games in a row. We can lose once, however, because in ranked drafts you can lose one time and still have a run at the championship. So we do have a one game like slide. Basically, if we do play bad one game, we still will be fine and we still have a shot at the championship. However, However, I'm trying to win six games in a row, and we're going to have to win game one, obviously, if we want to start that journey. As Jared Hayne getting a nice run for us on second down. Third and three, another handoff to Jared Hayne, breaking two tackles. Jared Hayne breaks another one and gets one yard shy as he fights forward to the four yard line. But my opponent has enough of Jared Hayne as he rage quits the game. He did stop us to fourth down, but I guess he just was tired of Jared Hayne killing him in three plays already, and he left the game. So already we're in game two, and we're one step closer to that championship as Brock Osweiler finds Jason Witten out across the 40-yard line. My opponent, he's driving on us already with Brock Osweiler at quarterback as Osweiler completes another pass out across midfield for my opponent. And first and 10, all the time in the world, my opponent finds his man for the first down and Osweiler is throwing dots, literal dots. If he could be throwing this many dots, man, he would be a great replacement for Peyton Manning in real life. However, he's not that good. Trust me, guys. He's not that good in real life compared to how he's playing right now as he finds his man for the opening touchdown of the game. And we're already down seven zips. So we're going to have to bounce back if we want to win this game. And Jared Hain on the kickoff return trying to get glitchy with him. But we get stopped at the 25-yard line. So we do have Jared Hain at running back as he bounces to the outside on first and 10, getting a nine-yard gain for us. And Jared Hain already is feasting this game also with Hayne out of the game we pass the ball with Sanchez and find your Michael Finley for the first down first and 10 another pass to another tight end this time it's Kobe Fleener getting the six yard gain for us and Jared Hayne on the toss play open field ahead but he gets suction tackled three yards short of the first down another third down run play with Jared Hayne comes up a yard short and we are faced with a fourth and inches have no fear Jared Hayne is here getting the first down for us across midfield and on first and 10 another run play to Hain, bouncing to the outside, breaking a tackle, putting on a juke move, and Hain getting a huge gain for us. Oh my goodness, Jared Hain is on fire so far in these first two games as we find Kobe Fleener out across the 30-yard line. Third and seven, another toss play to Jared Hain, and another huge first down from Jared Hain. This man is feasting for us already, and Sanchez throwing on the run, finding Jermichael Finley out to the 14-yard line. Second and five, another run play with Jared Hain, but it goes nowhere, and we are stopped to a third and three, but Jared Hayne picks up the first down for us once again, and now Ronnie Hillman's in the game, getting a two-yard game for us, and hopefully Hillman can shine for us when Jared Hayne is out of the game, and Jared Hayne getting all the way down to the one-yard line and third and goal, fourth and goal, running with Hayne, but we get stopped in the backfield for a two-yard loss, turnover on downs, Brock Osweiler finding Jordan Matthews, and there goes Matthews, the 40, the 50, the 40, Jordan Matthews off to the races, no one in sight Jordan Matthews showboating into the end zone and my opponent gets the 97 yard touchdown pass to Jordan Matthews and he goes for two and get Jordan Matthews once again on the catch but he comes up a yard short oh my goodness what incredibly two just incredible plays for my opponent and Jared Hayne on the kickoff return can't get anything with him once again out to the 25 and Ronnie Hillman first and 10 open field putting on the juke move Ronnie Hillman off to the races the 30 Ronnie Hillman no one in sight but two people come from nowhere and tackle him at the eight yard line as we burn our first time out I'm getting lightheaded just from talking right now as Matt Asiata gets down to the two yard line for us I need to chill out here because those were two incredible plays from my opponent and then from me as Jared Haynes showboats into the end zone for us and we're only down by six so my opponent gets that 97 yard touchdown pass to Jordan Matthews it goes for two completes it to Jordan Matthews gets down at the one yard line and then we get a near 85 yard touchdown run with Ron Ronnie Hillman. That was just absolutely crazy plays from both of us as Brock Osweiler throws another dot, but the game freezes and it froze for about 15 seconds. I sped it up here so it's only about six seconds total, the freeze that is. And we leg out. We, we leg out, but it somehow gives us the win and we move on to game three. I don't know how. We were losing that game. We were on defense. Brock Osweiler is killing us and my opponent legged out. Apparently, I guess it wasn't me because... 
we move on to game three. I have no clue how, but second and four. Sanchez getting the first down to Kobe Fleener, and we get to the 43-yard line. First and ten. Another run play with Jared Hayne, hoping he can feast this game. Also, and getting a nice gain for us out to midfield. Second and four. Screen pass to Ronnie Hillman, trying to get the first down, putting on the juke move. Ronnie Hillman trying to spin his way out across the 40-yard line, but gets stopped at the 42. Second and ten. Jared Hayne on the screen pass, trying to get something to happen, but he only gets a gain of six. Third and four, Matt Asiata stopped in the backfield, and we're forced to take our three, but we go for it on fourth and five to Jared Hayne, another screenplay, and Jared Hayne trucks a defender and picks it up for us as he gets to the 30-yard line. Jared Haynes is making plays for us as he trucks another defender and falls forward to the 27 second and seven. Another run play with Jared Hayne and another huge gain from him. In three games so far, Jared Hayne is going off as he gets stuffed in the backfield and we're forced to take our three. Now, we actually do take our three, so we're only up by three and my opponent gets the ball back, so we're going to have to get a stop on defense if we want to win this game. And Jared Hayne, he's been feasting for us and we didn't even draft any O lineman. We have all silver O lineman. So Hayne is a monster as he puts on the juke move and breaking a tackle. There goes Jared Hayne, the 50, the 40, the 30. Jared Hayne down the sideline and gets tripped up at the 13. Jared Hayne is making plays everywhere on the field for us as Mark Sanchez finds Kobe Fleener, the 10 yard line, third and seven. Another first down pass from Mark Sanchez and first and goal. Ronnie Hillman is in for the 10 point lead for us and my opponent is struggling already. Once again, another opponent of mine cannot stop Jared Haynes. Second and 10, Randall Cunningham flush out of the pocket, fumbles the ball, and his O line is there to pick it up, trying to get something to happen. But we get him down at the 14, and third and 19 with Randall Cunningham taking a shot deep. But look at that acrobatic interception. My opponent is gone. Two rage quits and a lost connection. And we already find ourselves in game four with Jared Hayne leading the way for us. So leave a like in this video if you guys enjoyed. Comment down below. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys in the next Man 16 video tomorrow. Peace out, guys.